फ्रेंड्स हाउ यू ऑल होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल द डी ए वाई सिंह फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक यू फॉर द लव एंड सपोर्ट विच यू ऑल आर प्रोवाइडिंग टू माई चैनल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर दैट आई केम अप विद द न्यू वीडियो इन विच आई विल इंस्टॉल फुटवेल लैम्प्स इन माई टोयोटा करोला एल ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी दीज फुटवेल लैम्प्स आर टू बी इंस्टॉल्ड नियर द फुट ऑफ द ऑक्यूपेंट्स टोटल फोर लैम्प्स आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल टू इन द फर्स्ट रो टू इन द सेकेंड रो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स हैव ए लुक ऑन द थिंग्स विच आई एम यूजिंग इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट द मेन डिवाइस फॉर दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज दिस टाइनी एल ई डी यू माइट बी थिंकिंग इट्स वेरी टाइनी हाउ मच लाइट इट विल गिव इन द फुट बट आई हैव ऑलरेडी चेकड दिस लाइट इज very soft and it's sufficient for that purpose in which i am going to use it this is tiny led purchased from amazon it comes in a pack of 6 this light is actually for instrument cluster lighting one fuse extra fuse male female connector and this small box in which i will install led it will act as a enclosure which will uh, protect led from the external forces if we talk about the fuse friends the circuit from which i am going to loop four led lights is already having a uh, fuse installed but if you are looping the power supply directly from the battery or some other source you must have to install this fuse I will give you complete details how to solder this wires to the LED and how to install this soldered LED into this box and after that how to solder this side wire to the main circuit wire so let's have a look on these complete uh, procedure and after that I will come back to the car to install this into the car before uh, soldering any wire we should we should get to know which one is the positive terminal and which one is negative terminal so to do that i have used this 9 volt battery even though this led is 12 volt but it will for checking the polarity you can use this 9 volt battery after checking the positive and negative terminal i have done the marking with the black on all the leds where the negative point is coming after that i have soldered the wire like this as you can see i've done the soldering red is for positive black is for negative i'm using this two wire connector this is the led side this is the supply side so if i want to remove the led i can simply remove this coupler and led will be away from it will be isolated from the main supply which is coming from the car fuse so which one to select that which one male or female where it will go towards the supply side female female thimbled connector will go and towards the led side which needs the supply this male type thimbles side coupler will go so in this way i will do this for all leds and do the connections so friends let's let us check whether the connections are okay i will send insert the connector and check it with the terminals negative for connect connect negative first as you can see led is working polarity is okay as per the color coding also and the, this connection is very safe it's locked properly so in this way i will do it for all the leds but do not forget to insulate these negative terminals with the glue so glue is the best insulation so now friends all the connections are done soldering is done and all the neg connect connections are insulated with the glue so there is total safety now all the leds are ready
so first of all friends i will remove all led lights from the wire so that it will become easy for me to route the cable this one is the last second last second first so i will take the looping from the same wire from the same circuit from which i have feeded uh, this ambient light so I, the looping will start from here all the way around here it will travel beneath the center console to the back side and the the second one light will go there I need to remove these lights and keep it here because I will remove this panel. There's one screw as I showed in the uh, previous videos also. There is one grill given over there near the knee of the driver. Go straight to that downside and you will find a screw. This one with engraved with the washer. Keep it on a safe place. Let's do the wire. this one is the ridge this extra wire you can see this one is the extra wire which i loop for this ambient light so i will bring the light here i will bring the cable here and then i will loop it So first one is done. So first one is done. I will route the wire for second light.
सो हे वी गो फ्रेंड्स अवर लाइट्स आर इंस्टॉल्ड एंड द फाइनल थिंग इज लेफ्ट विच इज कनेक्शन मेन कनेक्शन टू दिस ऑल दिस लाइट्स सो दिस इज माई फाइनल वायर विच आई विल टैप टू द एग्जिस्टिंग सर्किट आई विल टेल यू अगेन लाइट इंटेंसिटी कंट्रोल स्विच ऑटो हाई बीम कंट्रोल स्विच ब्लैंक स्विच ब्लैंक स्विच फ्रंट फ्रंट विंड स्क्रीन हीटर स्विच ब्लैंक स्विच ब्लैंक स्विच सो बीसाइड ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ऑफ फ्रंट विंड स्क्रीन हीटर स्विच देर इज वन ब्लैंक स्विच विद ए वाइट क्रिप just put little bit pressure to take it out this is the unit for ambient light so you will find pink black blank after that white wire with the uh, black strip green wire and then uh, purple wire purple is positive and uh, uh, white with the black strip is negative so no need to cut any wire which is this is not recommended just simply insert it and uh, uh, put the cable ties Here we go, friends. Lights are working. So in this way, you have to do the connections. Uh, so this is completely safe now. Don't make anything, especially in the electrical installation, messy. If you feel even a small unsafe things, don't do it. whatever electrical installations you want you have to do do it in a proper safe way i will check ambient light also yeah it's working so here we go panels are installed let us have a look on the back side light yeah it's working uh, that one is also working i will reinstall these panels wherever i have taken it from so after that i will give you a quick look in the night time so friends let's have a look on the final result of photo lamps as you can see friends they are working perfectly in the second row also the light intensity is good so it's not disturbing the driver or the passengers the light intensity is so soft that it's up to the mark of the purpose for which which they are installed in the driver side also you can see clearly see the pedals and my shoes it's very soft light like it's not irritating my view without light with light second row 
with light and without light so it's making a huge difference entire cabin is getting a decent look with these lights especially with this ambient light and these footwell lamps are add on to this project so So friends, this was all about how to install footwell lamps in your Toyota Corolla Alley. Hope this video will help you out in doing the same. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. God much bless all. Till then, bye bye. Take care.